Welcome to this simple guide to using Dylon dies. These little dies can revolutionise your home and your clothes, and they're so easy to use. They're quick and convenient and not at all messy. This film is about machine use dies. You just pop them in the machine and they do their work. And as you'll see, they don't harm the machine or any fabrics that you wash afterwards. The results will depend on three things. The type of fabric, the weight of fabric, and the colour of the fabric that you use. So let's begin by considering the type of fabric. Cotton, linen and viscose will all work exceptionally well and give absolutely great results. So something like this, which is 100% pure cotton, will give a perfect result. Mixes of these fabrics with synthetics such as polyester or acrylic will give much lighter results as the synthetics don't pick up the dyes. And remember 100% synthetic fabrics are not suitable for dyeing. Don't try to dye something made from wool or silk in the machine as they're not suitable for dyeing in this way. Now let's consider the weight. Each pack of machine dye will dye up to 600 grams of fabric to the exact shade shown on the pack. Now 600 grams is approximately a pair of jeans or a couple of shirts. To dye larger amounts of fabrics, just use multiple packs. Just remember to leave enough room in the machine to let the fabric move around. And finally, you need to think about the colour of your fabric and remember the colour mixing rules. If you want to dye something red with a blue dye, it will give a purple result. And remember, the dye won't always cover up patterns, they may still show through. Also, if you want to dye something to a lighter shade or another strong colour, you can always use a Dylon pre-dye. And this is how simple it is. Make sure you weigh your fabric to determine how much dye you'll need and then wash your fabric through and leave it damp. Now for the dyeing bit. Wearing rubber gloves, simply tip the dye powder directly into the drum of your machine. Add 500 grams of salt, again directly into the drum of the machine. And finally, add the items that you want to dye. 40 degree cycle and off you go. Once it's complete, make sure you add your usual detergent and run another 40 degree cycle to get rid of any excess dye. To make sure the machine is clean, simply run another 40 degree cycle with the machine empty and your usual detergent. And these are the exceptional results you'll get using a Dylon machine wash dye. Strong, vibrant colours that will give a new look to any bathroom.